Well, welcome back, family of light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. All right, Capricorns, that one flipped out before I even started the video. So this is going to be another love reading for you. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returner, wow, well, welcome back, my friend. This is the Golden Girls deck. Now... wanted two on there so this is you this is them this is the storyline if I can get these cards somewhat straight all right so for you you have the two of cups the emperor and the page of wands you're definitely waiting for something I feel that it even shows it here and here with the two of wands making plans for the future. You've got the two of cups here. So you are definitely in love with the person that you're, you're thinking about here. And I kind of hear that you're with this emperor, you're kind of waiting for them to show up or match you. Now, you know, like I said, you're definitely looking into the future and kind of waiting passionately. So, with this Two of Cups comes the Devil card. Yeah, I mean, in, in you know, this is why I love so many different decks because they give different vibes, like, you know, Cheesecake for the Devil. You know, this person's character in the Golden Girls show is vivacious and fun and sexy and um you bring that sense of fun to things with the emperor here there's the page of swords so you are kind of looking over your shoulder going okay is this going to happen what's going on here you know and with the stance that the page of wands is coming forth standing there in this particular reading like waiting yeah this is what you're waiting for. <laughs> you're waiting for that six of cups. That, you know, love relationship coming back into being or, you know, someone from the, a past life coming to you. Some, you know, this person you feel very connected to. So your person here has the eight of cups, the magician card and the 10 of pentacles. They've definitely been more focused on their pentacles here. And this person has walked away from love recently. I think that's, you know, why you've been waiting. You know, you know that they've walked away from something that wasn't serving them. And, you know, they're walking away knowing that it, it needed to happen. They had to do it. It's, it was painful and or is still painful. But they, you know, they've got that Wheel of Fortune on that going, no, I'm going in a better direction. With this Magician card, they're definitely trying to manifest new. But they're taking their time here, especially with the, the Ten of Pentacles, the happy home, abundant life. And then here with the Knight of Pentacles, it's someone who moves really slowly and deliberately is what I'm hearing. Yeah, your person here is very focused on money. You know, with the Ten of Pentacles here, the Nine of Pentacles, here comes the Queen of Pentacles. Your person has definitely walked away from love, from the past, and is working on themselves. You might even work with this person. That's kind of like where you're, maybe you were introduced or you actually work together. I don't, you know, if, if you work in like a corporate job, it's like you don't work in the same office or something. But, you know, with the storyline here, here comes the nine of pentacles. I feel like you're in a good spot and they kind of want to get themselves back to a good spot. And they're ready and willing for some, because I think you guys do, you might even be competing against each other in some sort of fashion. But... You know, it's like they appreciate your 
you're business savvy. They appreciate you and they like having fun with you. You know, and in their workspace, they might be having competition either with you or someone else. With this Ace of Swords here, they're really trying to stay grounded and offer only the beginning of something. Even though with the Knight of Wands, they definitely want to move towards you. There's definitely lots of communication coming. You know, there might be lots of text. You know, even though your person is um, still a little guarded, there's still lots of communication. If there isn't, there's it's coming. I feel like there's a, a really good banter between you guys. Lots of fun communication. Yeah, because I'm definitely liking that one where it's like, yeah, friendly competition. Let's do this. You know, whether it is with actually bowling or something else that sparks your guys' interest. Now, with the Two of Wands here and the Two of Pentacles, it's looking into the future and then trying to keep things balanced here. And then what clarifies that is the, the Five of Swords. You're definitely... You're definitely waiting. This person has you waiting. And, you know, to be honest with you, it feels like it gets a little old. But but you also understand where this person is coming from. So, what I'm hearing here for some of you, you might have other people that you're involved with. And so you're kind of, you know, um, okay with the wait to a certain degree, but it does get old. And with this, you know, Two of Pentacles and the King of Wands here, you're, yeah, you're just waiting for them to show up fully. Because yeah, right now it's just kind of the beginning of the passion, the fun, you know, having a new start. And I think that you're also a little worried about that they might have other choices. You know, because I, I do feel that this person has, you know, you're charming, they're charming. I mean, this is how that, you know, your person kind of sees you as this, you know, sexy temptress or sexy, you know, person who tempts. Now, give me more information about the feelings that the person here that they're inquiring about has for them. Temperance. And this came out too. So there's the temperance and the hierophant. They definitely feel like a lot of fun with you, but there, there's definitely an element of waiting here, which we've already been talking about. What else does this person feel about the Watcher? So there's the Emperor, and here's the Emperor. So they do think of you as this exalted person. And it's interesting that they called it here. You know, this is where I, you know, I felt like you are the emperor or you're in that emperor or empress energy, right? And then they just mirrored it back to me. They definitely think of you as a divine counterpart, male or female. They want victory in this situation, I, you know, and in their life. And I kind of feel like they are focusing on their coin right now. Kind of what I'm hearing is regaining lost um, footage in their financial situation for whatever they had to walk away from in the past. Now, does this person <clears throat> have love for the Capricorn, the moon? So things are hidden. There's motions that are hidden. This person does feel, and that's why they're going slowly, is that they are confused they're trying to tear away from the past. Yeah, there's sparks of passion here with the Ace of Wands. So, yeah, I mean, I can definitely see that you're you're in love with them. I don't know if they know they're in love with you. They do see you as the that exalted divine one. They do see the potential for sure with this two of cups. 
Now, if this is resonating, please make sure to give this a thumbs up because when you do that, it tells YouTube to send it around to other cappies that need to hear this. So here's the second card of the Five of Wands. Yeah, you guys might have some playful competition that you guys do with each other. Like I said, you guys might be working together, trying to get the same promotion. That one's not as likely, but... What I'm hearing with this one, with the Three of Cups, is rely on your friends. You know, in the meantime, while this person's kind of getting their stuff together, fill, fill your own cup. You know, go and be with friends and, you know, all those things that make you feel alive and happy. And they're saying that it's really important. And interestingly, they usually don't draw me to colors, but they're definitely saying, you know, something about the color of lavender or purple. You know, maybe you're into purple and you like wearing purple or your person does. I'm not quite for sure, but make sure that you're imbuing that energy of lavender, you know, because this is kind of a lavender field that they're standing in. You know, maybe use the essential oil. I don't know. That's just what I'm getting. <laughs> All right. So moving forward, will this person, the seven of swords, Because I was going to ask, you know, I was asking, like, is this person going to come forward in, you know, a clean way here? And here's the Seven of Swords. This person is dealing with something that you don't know about. It's either their own inner world that they're battling with or some other situation. You know, maybe this past that they're trying to walk away from they still have to be very cautious about, very calculated about. Here is the second card of the Ten of Pentacles. You know, and this was in their row here. Where did it go? Right here. So tell me more about that, guides. kind of feel like with this one, this is what they want and they could see it with you, but it's hidden by this moon and by this thing that they're going through. But if you're wondering if they do have thoughts like that, yes, very, very much so. But they're just going to have to work through whatever they're working through. Now, let's see here. What is it that they're working through? Give me more information. A house and a friend. Yeah, so you might have been or still are talking to them about what's going on and being a friend to them. And that you already they already know and you already know that there's a flirtatious situation here. I think there's might have been some sort of innuendo. That happened but this is what they're going through here I think they're trying to either you know reclaim a house you know this could symbolize their own internal house but it's something I think that's um, you know money wise something to do with a house so if that has you know any resonance make sure that you comment down below because if you've been here before you know that I'm super nosy so <laughs> I like hearing like how these cards resonate with different people because this is a public reading you know and if you're wanting a private reading i am doing them right now so you can check out the description box below yeah i think this person's ho holding a lot more you know dark energy than they let on they're very very um with this moon card here it's kind of like they're drowning in emotion definitely drowning in emotion and they're they're not letting other people including you see what's going on there's a lot of falseness and a lot of sorrow this person's going through it so the best thing for you to do is just 
be patient. You know, they've already given you the prescription, right? The guides have. You know, go off with your friends. Be there and have patience, knowing that they do have feelings of love for you. But they have a lot more going on than meets the eye and more than they're willing to express at this time. The guys are saying that this is going to unfold naturally. So continue having fun, continue doing your thing. And um, what they're telling me is let this unfold naturally. Because I feel like this person is going to be able to move through whatever they're going through and then come out the other side, you know, feeling this towards you. Guides, anything else? No, they're just saying that they really want you to... Wow. Because I was hearing something about the sun card, but then I pulled... I split the deck in half, and this was the card that was on top. So this person, your person, is going to free themselves from that situation, and, you know, they're going to be able to do this. It's just going to take them some time. You know, this is going towards calmer waters. This is kind of where they're at right now. So then this is what they're going to be, you know, coming forth, you know, towards you when the time is right. I think they already do, but it's only those aces, you know, the beginnings. So just know that this is good. Continue being you and let it unfold naturally. I hope that that was helpful. All right. I'll see you guys next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye-bye for now.